Right, let's go and have a look at what we've what we've knocked up. The freaking horse flies are a nightmare. Taking chunks out of me. Right. So so this is our our main area where we've been shooting and what have you. That's where we get uh, that's where we had the buzzard shots and the fence line there that uh, that we get the buzzards nesting on. Not nesting, perching I should say. And uh, yeah, there's a series of posts that we've put out. That's the birch post that we put out for the uh, woodpeckers. Looking a bit worse for wear now. So we'll end up changing that. And here we go. There's our, our little little hide that we've knocked up. So let's have a closer look. Okay, so that's what we've uh, that's what we've, we've built as a replacement for the temporary hide. Now, you know, I wanted to do it on a on a shoestring really. So, I'll tell you what what happened. Long story short, there was uh, at the top of our lane there was a, there's a cottage, and I saw this old shed that was up against the side of it. And uh, anyway, I ended up asking the lady what were happening because it had been there for for months. And uh, anyway, we get it. It was going to be burnt for firewood which is it's mental in it so I just said well is there any chance of me taking it you know making good use of it and she was more than happy because she couldn't be bothered breaking it up so that's what we've uh, that's what we've made out of it so we had we had a floor we had uh, a back and a front we had that we had two sides but the thing is there was no roof on it now it was about I think it was about five foot by seven we had an apex uh, like I said there was no roof on it but that we're no no big you know we just we made a new one so I've cut it down and I think it's about it's about six and a half foot by by four which is it's a good size to get two people in but I didn't want it I didn't want it too high I wanted it to kind of blend in if you know what I mean I didn't want it just to look like a shed stuck on the side of the you know on the side of the field so and I wanted it to get you know I wanted to tuck it into the hedge so over time what will happen the hawthorn will grow over it. Um, I put a bit of screening on the front, as you can see. Uh, that's just some dried vegetation that was in the in the field, and I, took, I had that on the last one, so I just took it off the last one and I, I put it back on there. But I'm going to grow some ivy up it as well. So we've got some trellis there. I'm going to plant a few ivy, maybe a honeysuckle, uh, and it will proper. It'll really blend in that. So next year it'll take a bit, but. Um, yeah, you won't really be able to see it. I'm just going to let everything grow up around it, you know, nettles and that, so it'll re it'll really blend in. And so yeah, and it's not, you know, it's hardly cost anything because all the stuff really I kind of begged and scrounged. Because there's always people with wood knocking about. So the roof, uh, that was just some board, and it's made up of a few different boards. And then brother-in-law, he had some felt, so. You know, half a roll of felt. We've chucked that on top. It's worth making a, a decent job of it as well. You know, I know it's all right saying you know get stuff for free and, and you know try and do it on the cheap, but all right if you've got to spend a few quid, it's money well spent, isn't it? So there's like I said, there's always timber knocking about and bits and bats. So it's uh, yeah, it's worked out all right. So we'll have a look inside it now. Yeah, another thing. Even though it's on a you know private property, uh, I wanted to be able to lock it up. So I've got a couple of locks on it, just in case. I mean, I'm not going to be leaving any. I'm not going to be leaving any valuables in it. But you know, if I leave a couple of bean bags in and some brew stuff and that, and you know, a bit of scrim netting and whatever, you don't want it getting lifted, do you? So always, uh, you know, advisable to make it make it a locking up job. So. So I wanted a, a decent size entrance. So we've got we've got double doors. You know when you've got a big camera bag and all your gear, you don't want to be uh, making a racket deal when you're getting in. So you know it's nice to have have a decent size opening. So.
full side opens up so you've tons of room to get in there. There we go, we've got our two chairs that we've, uh, we'll just leave them in all the time. And decided rather than rather than having uh, you know to use a tripod I thought it'd be an idea to put this this shelf in I can just use a bean bag then I'll demonstrate that in a minute we've got the two opening hatches one on the left slightly bigger so that we can get a good view down that side of the field and that one, that one there again made them secure so that's a case of doing is unlocking each one of these so once we've unbolted them all it's a case of doing we've got a cord up here just pull on that and then we've got this cleat up there and we can just just fasten it up there and then you've got your uh, you know you can see out out of the hide So yeah, here we are looking at the outside of the hide, so that's obviously with the hatch opened and our camera sat on the beanbag. What we're going to do when, when we're in the hide, I'm going to put some hooks up um, you know, on the inside and then you can put a scrim over, you, over your camera to give it a bit more concealment. But what I thought of doing, this is obviously the other hatch when it's closed, all I've done, I've, I've put some some scrim that I had, uh, screwed that on and I've also just screwed, they, they're just a bit a couple of plastic plant pots uh, and all they're for is just to, when, when the hide's all locked up and it's not being used the, the birds and, and whatever, they get used to seeing those plant pots so they, when, when we're actually using the hide and the, the hatch is up and the camera's you know popping out of the front of the hatch it looks pretty similar, so you can see there, you know, it's uh, it's not a bad attempt. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know, but it can't do any harm, to be honest. So that was just a bit of a bit of an idea for you, if you're thinking of making one. And, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'd... And I'm, I'm well chuffed It looks a bit bare at the moment, down here, um, you know, where I've been working. But over time, that'll just, that'll grow. All the vegetation will grow, and it'll really blend in. I mean, looking back over here, you know that uh, we've got this hawthorn that's coming down nicely. So we'll we'll get some ivy planted, some honeysuckle, and um, yeah, it'll really blend in. I'm I'm really looking forward to getting it used again this uh, this back end. Yeah, as I was saying, um, when you're in a you know a relatively small hide, it's not the biggest hide in the world, but uh, you know we've got I don't know maybe a foot above our head there when we sat down, so you can't stand up in it, but it's comfy enough. You can stretch out, There's plenty of room, loads of room for two people and all your equipment. In the last one, I had to use a tripod, and it restricts your space. You know, once it, once it's opened up, it, it cuts down on your leg space. So. I put this uh, this shelf in, and you see, you know, when you go to any nature reserves, or I mean, I've never been into a commercial paid hide before, you know, where you can go and do photography. But uh, I would imagine, you know, a lot of them will utilise a, a shelf like this. So all it's a case of doing is bean bag. All right, that's my old med one. You know, you can, I mean, bean bags are a fantastic support. They're brilliant. They're absolutely rock solid. So that, that's really solid, that, uh, that shelf. And um, so you can put a, you know, a bit of downward pressure on it. And then camera on bean bag. And there you go. Happy days. You're away. So yeah, you've, uh, I mean, I would imagine, to be honest, there's probably room for three in here because, you know, you've got you've got room there, and that's a bigger hatch that one. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm well suited with it. And say for what it cost me, well, it, it actually cost me nothing. 
and um, you know I had I had everything lying about, and I have, you know, I, I do a bit of woodwork on quiet, and um, you know I'm looking at I've got a, a big site, so so you know and I was able to rip some of the timber down, but you know if you know any joiners and it's really it's only dead basic stuff. It's like inch by inch, inch by half. Um, you know, a lot of it, you know, pallet wood, but it's all right. And get it, you know, give it a good coat of preservative and look after it. Yeah, another really important consideration was the floor, because on the last one, the temporary I had up, it was straight down onto the deck, and in winter, friggin' hell, it was absolutely freezing. It was Baltic. You know, your feet were dropping off, and it, it's not good if you're, uh, you know, getting to that stage where you're uncomfortable and you're cold and miserable. You're not enjoying it, are you? So. That was one thing, we've got a proper floor in this one and I've raised it up so I put it on a flag base, a few bricks, you know, really got it got it sturdy, just sat on a on a bed of sand, uh, put a, um, a bit of damp proof course in between, so you know when we do get some grotty weather in winter it's uh, it's gonna you know help it to not rot. So yeah, just just worth taking a bit of time over it, really. You know, there's no point, you know, building something like this, isn't it? Not, uh, you know, not looking after it and get, you know, get plenty of wood preservative on it, treat it, and uh, yeah, it should we should get a good few years out of it. So I'm really looking forward to to using it. It um, obviously it's going to be back end now. It's going to be autumn and winter when the uh, you know when we get the feeding station back up because there's just too much breeding activity at the moment. They're not interested in coming down here and. Uh, you know, going to the feeding station, so it's uh, it's more of a the hide pursuit is more of an, an autumn and winter um, you know hobby. So yeah, looking for really looking forward to getting in here, and uh, I might even crash out in it to be honest. There's enough room to to kip out. You know, if you want a really early start, why not? Bring a stove down and a, a, a flask, and yeah, be uh, be cracking. So anyway, another thing as well, we've uh, we've surpassed a thousand subscribers. So. <laughs> Mental, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to do it. I've not advertised it on the title uh, because you you put giveaways and all that, and you, you get people who aren't really interested in the channel. They just want freebies, don't they? So for all those people who are watching this, you know, you know, um, all the subscribers out there who've um, who've supported me, I've got um, a print. It's a limited edition print of. Um, I'm going to give away one of my Kingfisher prints. Because it's one of my one of my favourites, and at the moment I've been trying to uh, photograph kingfishers, so it's quite apt. What I'll do, I've not brought it with me, um, but I'll show you um, back in the studio, back at home, because I didn't want to bring it out and get it uh, get it marked. So, right, guys. So as I said before, as part of the uh, giveaway, the thousand subscriber giveaway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna you know give away an, uh, a nice print. So I've decided. I'm going to give away one of the uh, one of the kingfisher prints. So we've actually got two. We've got that one, which is called the Fisher King, yeah. and the other one. Let's have a look. There it is. So that one's called Gun Fishing. So as you can see, we've got that one, the backlit one on the log, and that one on that nice mossy branch. There we go. So, whoever wins the giveaway, just let me know which one you'd like and we'll get that popped in a tube and get it to you. The actual size of them, here we go, so that's the size of the print. So that will fit into a, a standard 20 inch by 16 inch frame with a mount around it. So, it's, uh, when it's mounted up, here we go. that's the size of the picture. So these are all... They're all limited editions, uh, they're limited to 195 copies, they come with a certificate of authenticity and they're uh, registered with the Fine, Fine Art Trade Guild, so yeah, they're quite a nice thing. So best of luck and thanks very much for your support, it's, a, it's amazing to have got you know beyond a thousand subscribers and it's growing all the time, so that's, uh, it's, it's amazing. And it's just a, you know, like a little token of my appreciation for uh, following this and you know, subscribing. It's great. So, best of luck.
what I, all I want you to do is just um, is just put a comment. Just say I'm in. It's all right. So I'll stick that in the comments. Uh, I'll let it run for a couple of weeks, and then what I'll do. I think you can put them into some kind of random generator and it'll pick a winner. So we'll announce that in a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's growing all the time. It's, it's fantastic. And uh, like, like I said at the beginning, um, it's, it's difficult getting them out really regularly, you know, because I work full time and uh, work does get in the way sometimes. So yeah, just bear with us. I know I've not had a video out for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm hoping in the next few weeks we're going to, we're going to do one on um, on support, uh, bean bags, tripods, the stuff that I've got. Uh, do a few comparisons. I want to do a film on this on this new permission that I've got, and possibly some barn owl stuff. So, yeah, yeah, we have a few ideas in the pipeline. So I'm looking forward to uh, to getting getting them done. So for now, thanks very much. Uh, give us a thumbs up. You know, share it subscribe uh, it, it's brilliant you know I'm well chuffed with like a thousand subscribers it's crackers isn't it so we'll keep going and all the best look after yourselves I know it's it, things are easing off a bit aren't they we can get out now and uh, you know do a bit of photography and mooching about and, and looking for stuff which is brilliant so stay safe and we'll see you out there